the key to bringing stories to life so that the audiences feel like they're right in it with you is using character dialogue. The problem I see for most people is that they use unrealistic dialogue. The most prevalent way I see is when people go back in time and portray being a child. And this is a problem I had when I shared the story of being on a desk in first grade, being humiliated, and that scarred me for 25 years. I did not want to stand in front of any groups because of that incident. When in early versions of that story, I didn't understand this realistic dialogue concept. So when I would portray what I was thinking, I would say, well, when my teacher told me to step down off my desk, I vowed to myself, I will never stand in front of people again. That was an awful, humiliating experience. And one of my coaches pointed out to me that six-year-olds don't talk that way. <laughs> they don't use uh, words like endeavor or humiliating. Instead, what they would say is, that was awful. I'm never going to stand in front of people again. And that's how I present that scene today. I try to recreate being six years old, which sometimes, if you ask my family, it's not that hard for me. But I try to get back in the mind of that six-year-old and how would he feel? How would he say it? What would be his vocabulary? So be careful when you're recreating scenes. Make sure it's realistic from an age standpoint. In tomorrow's tip, you'll hear another idea about realistic dialogue.